What's up, YouTube? We are here with some Celestia scales with more Dominaria United cards. We get a couple of them here. Uh, Defiler Vigor and Quirion Beast Caller, two cards that I am very, very interested in trying out. And uh, if you guys saw the top 10 for Dominaria United for Pioneer, you'll notice that this was on my list, and I'm very, very excited to try this out. So the idea behind this deck is you're setting up hardened scales with Conclave Mentor to kind of give you some redundancy on doubling up on counters. And you have tons and tons of ways to put counters on stuff. You have Luminarch Aspirant, which triggers every turn. Beast Caller, which triggers when you cast a creature spell. Nissa puts a counter on all, all of your creatures. Vivian distributes two counters. And then Defiler of Vigor, which is uh, five mana, six, six Trample, which is pretty good stats. And it has this text that all the Defilers do. It's an additional cost to cast green permanent spells. You may pay two life. And when you pay two life, they cost one green less to cast if you paid life this way. So the idea is to combine Defiler Vigor with a pile of one mana cards. So basically, the you know if you have like a Scales or a Mentor in play, and you play Defiler, and then you play two of these spells for free, your creatures just get completely massive. So that's the idea. Like, this card is powerful when you untap with it, obviously, but the goal is, like, the, the way that you make this card broken is to have it good, like, make it be broken even if you don't untap with it, which is, like, why we're maximizing on all these one-mana cards, and even why we're playing a card like Swarm Shambler, which I think is not normally that good, just to, pa just to combine it with Defiler and see how that goes. Um, the other one-drop option that you could um, potentially play in this deck is Experiment 1, but the problem with Experiment 1 is if you look at our two drops, it only pairs nicely with Mentor, uh, I guess it does pair, like, decently with Beast Caller, it gets one counter, but the problem I have with Mentor, or, excuse me, um, Experiment 1, is it doesn't work that well with Luminarch Aspirant. I guess it kind of does in the sense that you can just put a counter on the, the Experiment 1 with Aspirant, but I chose to go with Swarm Shambler. Um, that might, that may or may not be incorrect, maybe these should be Experiment 1s. I'm gonna try the first lead with Swarm Shambler and see how it goes, but... Uh, that's something that we might want to look at before, you know, if we want to make changes to this deck. Cyborg, just, you know, pretty normal green-white stuff. Rest in peace for Phoenix. Portable Hole for the aggressive strategy. Shaper Sanctuary for Rakdos. Voice for the control decks. And then uh, Archon of a Mirror for the combo decks. And we got a couple of one-ofs here, which is for our Vivians. We're not going too deep on the Vivian sideboard because we only have two copies of Vivian. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We got a couple of commands in the main deck as well. Um, just very good against... Very good removal spell, has a lot of utility, and uh, overall I think is uh, a pretty good card. So that is the deck list, and uh, without further ado, I'll see you back here in just a little bit for round number one. Alright, we are here for round number one. We have a one land elf hand. Uh, could YOLO this. I think it's worth keeping. Obviously it's kind of dicey if our elf dies, but... I don't know. I I, I kind of like yeah. I kind of like rolling the dice here. This is probably a mulligan, but <clears throat> fight enchantments. What are the fight enchantments? Play experiment one instead of the one drop. You can play Avatar the Resolute instead of Aspirant. Avatar of the Resolute, huh? Okay, so it's <clears throat> the best way to sequence this. You can go scales beast caller. Can just we could just jam Nissa. I think it's actually fine to just jam this. I guess that's worse if they have Pierce, but... Maybe I should play around Pierce. Yeah, I'll just... I'll play around Pierce. So I'll play Scales first, and then I'll play Beast Caller. And then if I draw a land, I can go Nissa Swarm Shambler next turn, which is pretty good. Dude, these Phoenix decks have so many spell pierces. I don't want to just jam. What is this? Investigate if his cast were given, investigate twice. So this is Creativity. White Side Pathway? Yeah, it'll be fine. I have I have way more forest than planes, so even if they kill the elf, I have much I have a much better chance of drawing a green source. I have one planes and five forests. The beast caller wants to die. I mean they didn't kill the elf, but I guess they just didn't have a one mana removal spell. I like me some Norma Jean. Norma Jean's good. And it's like, is it even that bad that they're killing the beast caller and not the the elf? It's not great, but mm. I can go mentor shambler, make a three three. Or I could just go Nissa Uptick. Kind of like Mentor Shambler. And then if they don't kill the elf, I'll probably just go Nissa Minus next turn. And a Parallel Universe Doom in, is in the hardcore band touring right now. Yeah, I know, right? I always wanted to learn the drums. It's always been something that I've been, like, kind of interested in. I just don't really have time to take lessons, but... 
Prismari Command. Okay. What's my band name? Uh, the Constellations, I guess. That's not really heavy metal, though, right? The Constellations is not very heavy metal. So how much damage is this? My minus? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I think I should minus. Because I don't think they're going to be able to kill me next turn. Like, they can't creativity for 2. So there's no way I die this turn. And this potentially puts lethal in play next turn with the command. Maybe mob editor first show. Nice, nice. It's as heavy as I want it to be. What's a, what's a good heavy metal... What's a good name for a heavy metal band that references Doomwake Giant? I mean, I guess just the name Doomwake is kind of heavy metal, right? Like, if I just called myself the Doomwakes, or just called my just called the band Doomwake, that's pretty fucking metal. Wake of Doom. That's a that's that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of writes itself. I don't even have to do that much work. Okay, they made a fifteen fifteen. How do I beat a fifteen fifteen? Didn't get this far. Uh, well, I guess I will plus. So the cool thing is, if they creativity for Xenagos, I can make them sack the Xenagos. And they can't really attack, right? So maybe this is okay. Yeah, I'll just pass. Doom's Awakening. Jaundiced Constellation. I don't know about that. Just animate layer minus Nissa. Yeah, yeah, especially if they go for the if they go for the Xenagos, they just lose, right? They just like put a counter on something, they sack an enchantment. And I could pay for spell pierce too. I think I put a counter on the plant token. Because that lets me go the widest. And then I just go fire this up minus. That should be lethal. It's funny, they would have been dead if they just hit the Xenagos. But they at least bought themselves a turn with the worm. But I think we'll still be fine. Alright, let's go... Second enchantment, counter on this. Proceed. A turn with the worm. Nice enchantment. <laughs> nice enchantment you got there, opponent. God, Dramokas Command just, like, being insane against them. If they tap out to Creativity for two, you just Dramokas Command sack the Worm, or sack the Xenagos. Command's just nuts against them. That's kind of gas. Hmm. <laughs> you hate Dramokas Command? Dramokas Command's great. That card's, that card's awesome. It's so dope. <laughs> I don't know if I really have much against Creativity. Maybe I want the Shaper Sanctuaries. Do they board out Xenagos? Maybe. If they expect me to keep in command, they could board out Xenagos. They could board out the Xenagos Worm for Holebreaker Horrors. Which, Horror is decent against me. They could just, like, bounce my big shit. I feel like Vivian might be a little bit too slow, and they probably have Spell Pierce. So I'm not, like, not as interested in Vivian. I don't like Portable Hole. Like, trying to fight over their one or two treasures is kind of awkward, especially because they have instant speed ways to make treasures. Like, if they hold up four mana for a big score and you have portable hole in your hand, it just doesn't do anything. They just end step the big score, untap creativity for two, and you're dead. So, like, hole is hole is not very good. <clears throat> hole is not how you want to fight their deck. Voice could be good. Yeah, they have a lot of instants. I could see that. I just, I don't know if I want these Shaper Sanctuaries. That's kind of what I'm considering. I can cut these for voices. Maybe I can have Shapers over Defiler, because Defiler, again, is kind of slow. Just try to be a little bit more, like, low-to-the-ground aggressive. Especially on the draw. Yeah, let's do that. I don't like cutting Defiler because I want to draw it and see how good it is, but I think this is correct. Also, what's up, Harry? The Herald himself. The Herald himself in the chat. Archon can slow them down a lot. They, they don't usually cast more than one spell a turn, right? Like, I think on average they probably cast one spell a turn. They, like, removal on one, removal on two, command on three, big score on four. Like, they don't really ever double spell. I guess just, like, they have a bunch of dual lands, but... Or, no, no, I'm thinking of a different card. I'm thinking of a different card. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Put back second Shambler, I think. It's a lot of twos, but... Trying out Triumphs, and Bloids, Blade Binding. How many Triumphs do you, like, rely... Like, do you have to play to reliably draw one for the Binding? That's a really good draw. I'm going to go turn one Sanctuary, turn two Tap Land Shambler, I guess. Probably turn three Mentor. Maybe Beast Caller first, I don't know. I guess this kind of makes my draw awkward. I wanted to go Tap Land into two drop, but I guess this is fine. Untap Land would be nice here. Perfect. So I think I'm going to lead Beast Caller. Yeah, I'm going to lead Beast Caller. And then next turn, I can go Mentor into Shambler and pump this up three times. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. Six total, two Rafine, two Rogren, two Spara. Okay, yeah, that's fair. 
So you're like 1 in 10. So yeah, that makes sense. That ratio sounds good. This duck looks awesome. Is this a brew? Also, what's up, Curb Bros? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a brew. I mean, I was working a lot with hardened scales probably about like a month and a half ago, but it never like kind of panned out. And I wanted to try it with the two new printings of Beast Caller and Defiler. I think both of those cards are excellent for this, this strategy. Yeah, so let's go Mentor into Shambler. Next turn, we can double Aspirant and just like kind of go ham. This is kind of a fucked up draw. I wonder, is there any way that we want like a way to sacrifice our Beast Caller to get the trigger? It's probably not worth it, right? The way to show is it lacks removal for Planeswalkers. Yeah, that's true. I guess maybe you're worried about Besaidu with Binding, but it's probably fine. Thank you for not playing Hangerback. I, I'm really not a big fan of the artifact stuff. Like, I tried a version that had, like, the Soul Ripper and the Hangerback, had Patchwork, it had all this artifact synergy stuff, and that, that's, that stuff just didn't feel that good, to be honest with you. It just, like, it just didn't feel that good. Am I trading with this? I guess I don't really want to. It is kind of awkward. Maybe I have to trade with this. Trade Swarm Shambler for it. Because if I don't trade with this, they can just play land four, sack treasure, target these two next turn. Whereas if I trade with this, they can't, they they won't necessarily be able to, yeah, I'm just going to block. Yeah, I think I have to block here. Oh, I guess that's bad because they can just, yeah, they haven't played a land yet. Oh, they, they missed their land drop. That's good. So now we go Elvish Mystic plus Aspirant. I mean, if they have a bounce spell for the Beast Caller, maybe, but... <clears throat> and I guess I'll put a counter on the Mentor. Just to kind of go a little bit wider. Again, just in case they have some kind of bounce spell. Alright, attack you for 13. So they're going to cast Big Score. But this isn't even... This isn't enough, right? Because they can go Big Score, make 2... But they can't creativity for two next turn, right? Oh shit, they can because they have the fable. Right, they just go land, sack a treasure, target, fable, and the treasure. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, right. Maybe blocking last turn was bad because I had lethal if I didn't block. Yeah, I would have just had lethal if I didn't block, right? I just had 15. Yeah, I shouldn't have blocked. It doesn't appear they have the land, which is good. Have I tried cast out? Oh, you're talking to Harry. Yeah, the Tension Sphere, like, being Sorcery Speed is kind of awkward, because you just want to hold up all of your mana with blue-white. You have so many instants that you want to hold the mana for. I guess the good news is they can't Steam Vents, because they're at two. But yeah, I would have just had Lethal Fight in block. Would have just had the full 15. Surely they haven't tanked this long and have the land, right? Surely they don't just go, like, okay. <laughs> Xenagos Pass, huh? <laughs> the old Xenagos Pass. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> could be Obosh. Gigantha confirmed. The sand looks excellent. I'll keep. Lead Besaidu so I can play a white source. If my elf doesn't die, I'll probably go... Probably go Mentor Elf. But I assume this elf is dying. If it does die, it's kind of awkward because I need to play this as a white source, but I've really wanted the double spell. Is the play just like elf, white source, pass? I think it probably is, right? Yeah, as, like, unfortunate as that is, I think it has to be the play. Hmm, if only that was a brush land. Harvester's fine. Okay, interesting. So, honestly, I kind of want to go Scales, Aspirant, make this a 3-3 three, three, to get it out of Harvester range. I guess at that point they can just kill the Luminarch Aspirant, but I think I'm okay with them killing the Aspirant. I mean, if they have Devil, they can go Devil, Sack Harvester, Ping the Elf to kill it. But then I have an Aspirant of Scales. Then I can just go Mentor, make this big, which is probably fine. Yeah, I think I like that line. I just want to try and get the Elf out of Harvester range. This, like, forces them to have... Obviously, they could have, like, you know, um, claim the Firstborn, but this at least beats the Harvester that's on board. What's up, Blue Sky? <clears throat> Chat, we got a lot of viewers in here. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new to the stream, be sure to smash that follow button.
Ithakinas, thank you so, so much for the 14 months. Appreciate that. And while we're here, chat, if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, don't forget, they give you one free Twitch Prime sub every single month to any streamer of your choice. Make sure you are using that Amazon Prime. Well, this is really awkward. Because I have Plains Boulderloff, and I can't cast Vivian. It's the play that I want to make, but I don't have Brushland, so I can't do that. Go Nissa Plus, but then they just go... Sack, ping the token, attack Nissa. Yeah, this is bad. I guess I could just make my Alpha 5 5, let them kill the Nissa. Honestly, I, I think that's like my only good play. <laughs> it, it doesn't look good, but I think that's like my only good play. Again, this is horrible if they have push or claim, but I try and beat the board, you know? Uh, I can't cast Vivian. I would have loved to play Vivian. That's what I wanted to cast that turn, but as we said, I couldn't cast it. <laughs> Ideally, I would have played Vivian and killed their devil, but... <laughs> Scales looks like some Greenland. Oh, you thought this was a Greenland? <laughs> nice. Okay, well, we're getting to untap with our elf. Just give me a green source. Green source, green source, green source. And I can kill the devil. <sighs> Should have specified. Should have specified, huh? If only there was a land that came into play untapped, tapped for a green or white mana, dealt you a point of damage. Anybody have any ideas of what that land could potentially be? And if or if not, it is legal in Pioneer? Any ideas? Any ideas whatsoever? I mean, I do have mana confluence in my deck, so... So if I uptick... They're just going to go sack cat, damage, bring back cat, damage. Could down tick, target the devil. The problem with down ticking is Vivian goes to one, and they just go tap, sack, ping, sack. Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't sound legal for Pioneer, yeah. I kind of want a plus here, because I think plus gives me the best chance to just race them. No, because plus is bad, right? I plus here, they kill the Mentor, and then they just get to kill the Vivian for free. Yeah, I kind of have to minus. Right? I think I have to minus. Feels horrible, but... So, in response, they're likely going to tap, sec this, ping this... Sack, bring back the cat, ping this again. Game two, go to 14. And then I think I just leave this on defense to protect the Vivian. Most likely. This will have, what, two counters on it? Because it'll get a counter from this dying and a counter from this dying. You know, Brushland will be legal for Atlanta if they print it in Brothers War. It's just got to test, assuming it'll exist by then. Yeah, it's like we don't even know, you know? We have to assume it's going to be Brothers War, right? I played against Pioneer Goblins yet? No, but we actually have a Pioneer Goblins deck lined up for donation decks this week. So on Thursday, we're going to play some Pioneer Goblins, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, they did not kill the Vivian. That's good. All right, we're at, this is the same thing that we were saying. Put a card on top. I guess if I don't attack with Elf, it forces them to fire up the Hive. Yeah, I'll just pass. I'm not beating a claim anyways. They confirmed they were printing all 10, and the distribution got determined between DMU and Brothers War. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was, like, after like the set after Brothers War or something, but if they've already confirmed them for Brothers War, then that's good. Yorion, Orisov, Doom Vertold. Hmm. Somebody, you know what I, I thought of the other day? I think somebody posted it in my Discord, and it got me thinking, what about Doom Vertold plus Braids? And you can also braid sack demonic pact. Does that sound interesting? That actually sounds kinda hot, right? I know, right? Braids with Doom foretold and uh yeah. Somebody posted the Discord, I think it was I forgot who it was. I think it was Foz. But yeah, I think Foz posted the Discord and it looked awesome. It looks so sick. Right, you just have more ways to sack your demonic pack with braids. I think it like might actually not be that bad. Yeah, we can, uh, I think we can pack this one up, chat. Yeah, we're, uh, we're dead. We are dead. 
some monument. Talking about Oketra's monument. Copium. Alright, portable hole. A lot of people, you know, always want me to board in Rest in Peace against Rakdos Sacrifice. Personally, I don't, like, I don't even think this card is that good. It only really stops Cat. It doesn't really stop much else. Uh, I guess it stops Witness too, but I, I don't know. I just ne I'm never like a big fan of it. I'd rather actually have Shaper Sanctuary if I'm gonna bring in a card like that. I think Sanctuary is much much better against them. Um, again, just kind of kind of gonna try to trim down the slow cards a little bit. I'm not sure how good Command is. I guess it's like a removal spell for Mayhem Devil, which we kind of need. This matchup just seems kind of rough. Trim Anissa. Let's trim one Command, I guess. Maybe fine. Like Vivian versus Cat. Would you rather have Vivian than Nissa? Could do, like, two Vivians and... Well, I want to keep the Knight and the Cyborg. We can do one Nissa, I guess. <clears throat> or we could cut the Nissa and play Command, maybe? Not sure. Not quite sure how I should sideboard. But yeah, Vivian is good, because it, like, stops, um... Or it's not to stop, but it's, it like, giving Trample is really good against Cat. <sighs> I mean, even if this was Brushland, I probably still wouldn't want to keep this hand in this matchup, but... Another Brushland situation... Double Overgrown Farmland, huh? Alright, I'm gonna keep this, put back Aspirant. I'm gonna go Tap Land on one, and then Mana Confluence Double Spell on two, and then Aspirant on three, I think. What's up, Glove? No rip for Cat and Witness. I mean, we talked about that. I just, like... I, I think, like, we already have so many cards that we're bringing in between Sanctuary and Portable Hole, and I think both Sanctuary and Portable Hole are actually more important than Rest in Peace. Sanctuary is, like, the single best card that you could ever have against Rakdos Sacrifice. It's better than almost anything else. Because it, like, shits on Mayhem Devil. It's, like, makes all their pushes and claims bad. It's just, like, this card is insane against Rakdos Sac. And I think Portable Hole is also more important at stopping Oven. So. <laughs> is this that hard to play, like, Scales and Modern? Not particularly, no, I, would, I wouldn't say. So, we're gonna go, what, Aspirant Shambler? Yeah. Aspirant Shambler, put a counter on the Aspirant, I think. Untapped one, tap turn two. Mm, I guess that's fair, but I take more damage off the Mana Confluence that way, right? Because I go tap, tap the Mana Confluence on one and tap it on two, and then probably tap it on three. As opposed to going tap land into Mana Confluence, tap it once, turn three, tap it twice, so it's one extra damage. Putting it to scale stack today with Love Struck Beast, Love Struck Beast and Defiler, which is kind of nonbo when your one ones become five fives. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of awkward. Love Struck Beast is cool, it's just like more, more, more one mana cards for. How does that work? I just thought of something. How does Defiler? Okay, so Defiler specifically says you may cast green permanent cards. Heart's Desire is not a permanent, correct? Only Love Struck Beast is a permanent. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -mm. It's the problem with Shaper Sanctuary when you draw a second one of them. <laughs> uh, I think I just want to level this guy, which I guess means we're not attacking. Like, there's no point in attacking with this because they just get the you know block sack. Uh, all right, I'm gonna hold on to the Shaper Sanctuary because that could potentially trigger a Defiler that I cut, right? Yeah, I cut the Defilers. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to sideboard in this matchup. <clears throat> Still play a second Sanctuary. Yeah, I thought I. Again, I, I forgot that I boarded up Defilers. I should have played it. Obviously, if I had Defilers, it'd be good to hold it, but. Yeah, I really don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to, like. I'm supposed to cut this? Maybe I'm supposed to cut more two drops, like Beast Caller, and keeping the Defilers as just like heavy hitters, and this thing also is just a 6 6 trample, which kind of bricks Cauldron Familiar. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's better. Yeah, this game's probably over. <coughs> Game is probably over. Because I'm trying to make my elves bigger. They're obviously not going to kill the elf now that I have the second sanctuary. Uh, what if I just do this? <clears throat> 12 damage. Block here. Yeah, I'm not winning this game by sitting here doing nothing, so. 
common cat draft chaff that gives all creatures with counters trample. Mm. I mean, I think this is like, this is pretty good. But, you know, again, when they start on cat oven, it's like really hard to actually pressure them. Wait, what did they target? Oh, sick. Thanks for the free cards. Unless I'm just dead. Am I dead? I might be dead. <clears throat> the 2-1 for 3. Abzan Falconer. You could also play Tuskguard Captain. I think Tuskguard Captain is the one that uh, that Poopy was referring to. Claim is GG. Yeah, we're dead to a lot of stuff. Yeah, they just go like Claim Reflection Copy Devil. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. I'm dead to a lot of stuff. I think I'm also dead to second oven too, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm dead to second oven. So I'm dead to oven, dead to claim. <clears throat> this matchup does seem kind of rough. I'm sure there's probably some better cyborg cards that we could play, but... <clears throat> okay. Six. That's one, two, three, four, five. Dead. Pretty sharn. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I see a problem with this hand, and it has nothing to do with the fact that we don't have white mana. Mm. Yeah, I'm on the draw. I'm just gonna keep this. I'm playing against Ragnarok again. Nope, not at all. This could be Nib, this could be Ascendancy, could be a lot of different things. Yeah. New card, Snapkeep. So many new cards. What could ever go wrong? Definitely Ascendancy. I mean, I guess I just go Mentor Elf, right? I think I can really kill them next turn. <clears throat> Impulse. Interesting that they're playing Impulse over Treasure Cruise. Or, excuse me, Impulse over Planning for Treasure Cruise. Unless this is just like, you know, they have four plannings and they just want, like, another one or two copies of this. Because when I've played this deck in the past, planning being able to bin two extra cards is really important for Cruise. Redain might be solid. Yeah, Redain's going to get sacked too. That's true. Redain is very good. Oh! It's actually a really good draw. So let's go Harden Scales. Oh, uh, do they have Fiery Impulse? Mm, I think they have Fiery Impulse. How do I play around Fiery Impulse? I don't think I can, right? Could like pass, hope they cast it end step. <clears throat> yeah. Are people playing Leyland Binding in the new Jeskai Ascendancy deck? Not that I've seen now, but maybe it's worth it. Yeah, I guess I just pass. Because I can also just hold up command to make them sack Ascendancy. Guess I might as well attack with this. This is kind of a free attack, right? <clears throat> alright, alright, fine. Hold my bluff. Yeah, Charm kills Ascendancy, yeah. Which is why holding it up I think is good. Also, worth pointing out, this, this is actually very important here. This is only sorcery speed. <clears throat> so normally where they would be in a situation where they like play Ascendancy... They do a bunch of stuff, and then, like, you know, I cast... They do something, I cast Command to make them sack Ascendancy, and they, they do something else in response. They can't activate this in response to that. I guess now I'm in a situation where... Do I counter, or do I fight? Well, if they're just gonna pass... I think end of turn, I will probably... Counter plus sack and champion, I think. How about the Cowboys? Dude, I don't want to talk about the Cowboys. I'm... I'm... Uh, I heard the news about Dak today, and I'm very, very upset. All right, let's go counter, make them sack. You sack, I guess counter on the elf? That's better put on this. <clears throat> yeah, it was uh, not very good. Yeah, command's been really good. I've been impressed with that card. Yeah, they did have the impulse, but this is fine. They still lose the ascendancy, so. It's like a finest trade. Because honestly, I think I'd rather have them kill the Conclave Mentor than the Elf, because I have the Vivian, and if I target the Elf, they just kill the Elf, and I can't guess Vivian, right? Counter Mentor, because... Yeah, exactly. Like, I want them to kill the Mentor more than I want them to kill the Elf. 
a lot of the uh, a lot of the dominaria cards have have gone down quite a bit. Outside of like binding shield with Liliana, there's not really much left in terms of value. I think maybe Sarah Paragon's like a few bucks, but. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Paragon is still money. I think the last time I checked, it was like 15 ish. Okay, so it, it hovered. It's holding around 10. That card's good. I don't know what it's good in, but I think it, it is a good card. I don't think I have to just play this. I could try to fight this thing next turn. But if they have a second ascendancy, we might just be dead. And then we get to sit here for <laughs> an hour while they kill me. I guess I could talk to chat for an hour while they kill me. Yeah, I'm very sad that I sold my bindings. I sold my bindings for... Uh, how much did I sell them for? I think I sold them for like... 12 each, and then they've gone all the way up to 26. So I guess I should have waited on those, huh? Hmm. Are we dead? Seems like we're dead. No, they just wanted to get in for three. Oh, right. Attack the Vivian. Yeah, yeah that's a good play. Uh, Well, I will cast this card. And then I will cast this card. And then I will make my creatures gigantic. All right, 14, yeah. You have to kill me next turn. Mm. Isn't biting what will make Tyrannos tier 0 0.5? If by 0 0.5 you mean tier 0, 0. 0.0, then yes. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I, I think the four-color Rhinos deck is good. I just don't really have that much interest in playing modern, so I'm sticking to Pioneer for now. <clears throat> Oh, mismatching impulses? Hello? Huh? Huh? No respect. Zero respect. <clears throat> Modern kind of stat right now. Yeah, I don't know. Modern's in a weird spot. It's like the Dominator United feels like it's very impactful for Standard and for Pioneer. But for Modern, like, outside of Leyline Binding, maybe the Tribal Lords, there's really not much here, you know? And the reason for that is just because the power level has been jammed up with, you know, with the Horizon sets. And it feels like there's not really anything that can, like, in order for them to shake up Modern, they would have to print some sort of cards that are, like, that compete with the power level of cards in Modern Horizons. And if they do that, they'll just ruin Standard and Pioneer. So they can't do that in Standard sets. So, like, the only way at this point, the only way to fix Modern or, like, shake it up is for them to just print, like more horizon sets and it's just a never-ending cycle of just every single year we're just gonna break the format over and over again and it's just like uh you they're, they're just in a cycle that they can't get out of at this point there's no way to fix it i i think in order to fit like the thing is they would have to ban a lot of stuff i don't i i don't even know how many things they would have to like ban or anything like that to like make the format kind of healthy but <clears throat> it's a lot. I don't know. Why are they not scooping? They have Odawara. They're still dead, right? I pumped these two to play around a, a red removal spell on this. And this still beats Odawara, I think, because they go block here. Yeah, they go double block here, bounce this. This tramples over for five, plus two is seven. So even if they have Odawara, they're still dead. Cool. Cool. Isn't the power level of Pioneer creeping up there, too? Same thing gonna happen? Um, I mean, sort of, but they're not, like... They're not injecting the power... They're not injecting it in all in one set with, like, Pioneer Horizons. You know, I think if they ever decide to do a Pioneer Horizons or a Pioneer Masters, then, you know, maybe it'll, it'll get to that point. But I think for the most part, like, yeah, Mono Green is very good. I understand that a lot of people don't like that deck. Uh, personally, I think the deck is, it's good, but it's also, like, somewhat inconsistent, and it's, like, not that easy to, not that hard to break up its draws. <clears throat> so, I don't know, I feel like the power level of Pioneer is at a point where it's getting there, but there's also just, like, a lot more different strategies that you can play. I don't know. I think I did it on purpose to destroy Modern? No, I mean, that's, that's just, like, tinfoil hat shit, but... 11 cards gone, 5 Cascade only card, 5 Pitch Elementals, and Omnath. <laughs> yeah, just like, Ban Fury, 
I mean, I, I would kind of like to see Vig- Force of Vigor and Force of Negation go too, but like, ban Fury, ban Solitude, ban Endurance. I mean, you probably just ban all the Elementals. Ban the Elementals. Probably just ban all the forces to get it out of here. Ban Omnath. And then we could talk, you know? And then we can have a conversation. <clears throat> Bardstorm. Monkey. Yeah, can we just, like, remove Modern Horizons? Can we just pretend that it didn't happen? I think uh, I think a lot of people would kind of appreciate that. I'm going to bring in Rest in Peace for Cruise. I don't know if I want Shaper Sanctuary. I don't think I want Portable Hole because it doesn't get carried in. Uh, sadly, I'm just going to cut these Defilers again. I really want to stop cutting this card, but we just kind of haven't found, like, a, a good enough matchup for it. I'm going to, like, shave on this stuff. Actually, I can shave more of this, right? Because I'm cutting the Defilers. These are only good because I have Defiler, for the most part. I think I want to keep the Knight in the sideboard for Vivian. I think it's actually more important in the sideboard. Although, that's probably just too slow, right? Yeah, that's probably too slow. <clears throat> City in a bottle for Horizons cards. I'm a city in a bottle, baby. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I understand they're not going to do that, but... I, I don't think Modern is fixable until they do that. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. They kept seven. This hand's kind of kind of enticing. I think I'm going to ship it, though. Yeah, I'm going to ship it. Okay. Better-ish. I think I'm on the draw putting back the third land. I know it looks a little greedy, but... I guess... Yeah. I could also put back the Nissa. That's fine. Fireflight underscore LTD. Thank you for the raid, buddy. Appreciate you. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, everybody, from Fireflight Stream. We're playing some Pioneer Scales today. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. The only... At this point, the the fact... Like, how far they've pushed the modern power level, the only thing that is going to impact modern at this point is, like, maybe one card a set, in the case of Leyline Binding, or a new Horizon set. You know? Which is just... It sucks because then people, they're just going to, this is the cash cow, right? They know that people have to buy this set in order to compete in modern. And because they're doing that, they, you know, they can like, well, we're just going to jack up the price of modern horizon 17. You know, it's like, it's just, it's awful. Horrible. How was the incarnation deck with the binding? I liked it. We only got the sack binding once, but I don't know if I need to play rest in peace quite yet. I think I'm actually just going to play mentor here. This might be a little bit worse if they have a, a removal spell, but... Because I can just play Rest in Peace next turn when they, like, jam, you know? They, like, jam Ascendancy. I just go Rest in Peace plus level up my Shambler or something. Who do you think owns most of the bots in MTGO? I think they're all owned by different people. <clears throat> Wasn't that par for the course with standard sets before Horizons? Kind of, but it's, like, even more so now. Oh, Jesus Christ, they had Radiant Flames? That's bad. Uh, shit. Alright, I guess we're gonna go Nissa Plus. Forgot about that one. Henge plus Defiler seems like it could be a thing. Yeah, but then you have to untap with Defiler, right? Unless you're, like, playing Henge pre-Defiler. Dominaria War Oil Drain. Well, yeah, 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 I mean... Well, those were those were all before MH2, right? I guess maybe not Dominaria, but... War and Eldrain were both before MH2. Yeah, and now I kind of put myself in a bad spot where I can't double spell here. I guess I just, like, don't cast the rest in peace. Or I just don't play a creature here. This feels really bad. Yeah, I'm just going to play rest in peace plus my Nissa and just kind of chill. I just want to turn off Treasure Cruise. Only having one white source is really awkward. <clears throat> Henja think costs one mana after Defiler. Yeah, 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 but, like, if you're on turn 5 or turn 4 with an elf, you're tapping out for a defiler, you still can't play the henge that turn. You know what I mean? But, yes, it does, it would cost one less with defiler, essentially. But, yeah, that is, that is kind of a, a cool interaction, for sure. All right, I'll just chump block this. I hope their hand is four copies of Treasure Cruise. Mm -mm. All right, second white source is good. So now we get to go, what, Conclave, Mentor, Luminarch, Aspirant, Downtick. 
I mean, I guess they're probably just going to kill the mentor now, but who's the artist? Top left, this is, I think it's Thousand, Thousand Below. Chemical by Thousand Below. Really good band. Uh, make it 2-3? No, nah, I think I should make a 3-3. Three, three. And no attacks, because I th think I'm probably chump blocking to keep the Nissa around. Sure, that's fine. How did elves go, considering bringing it to an RCQ? Wondering if you changed anything in the list since playing it a bit. Um, so I played elves in the challenge. I played three matches. I won round one. I forgot what I, for I, but I beat round one. And then round two and round three, I played against Modern Red twice, and I got thoroughly destroyed. Uh, the Modern Red matchup is atrocious. I'm not 100% sure how you're supposed to fix that, but it is quite bad. But yeah, that was that was my uh, my challenge run. But I do think I do think the list is still pretty good. I don't think there's a ton that I would change. Ah! Stop it! All right, give me something. I guess I boarded out the filer, which is kind of awkward. I should probably stop boarding this card out, huh? <laughs> Nobody could beat it. You're an elf. Dope. Pog. Should probably attack first, but... You articulate the issue with MH2 well. People on Reddit can get super shitty defending Modern when they're both good gameplay and external issues. I feel like Modern than fine, but definitely cash grabbing, that worries me. Yeah, I mean, people people can like what they like. I'm not saying that, like, your opinion is wrong or anything. I'm just, you know, I'm just giving my personal opinions and thoughts on the format. That's all. We're having a uh, we're having a healthy discussion, as they call it. Stop! Stop! Stop it! We racing. What's everyone's opinion on Death Cloud? Hello, Snuggles. What's up, buddy? Death Cloud is the best card in modern. Best card in the history of magic. I love Death Cloud. Nothing is wrong with Death Cloud. Oh my god, we're taking six a turn now? Jesus. This is, like, unironically pretty bad for us. <laughs> we're just gonna lose to these lib speakers. <laughs> nice rest in peace, idiot. Yeah, I should not bring this card in. Uh, well, I guess we have to play this on defense? Seems horrible, but... <clears throat> yeah, I would never lie to chat. Clueless. When have I ever lied to chat before? If we're being honest with it, each other. Look, Dak got hurt. I don't want to hear it, man. Alright? I've already had to, like, sit here and wallow in my misery the all day today with the Dak news. So I don't need to hear it from anybody else. We've we've already discussed. All right, change my mind. Erasing. <clears throat> Chump block. I guess they have enough mana. Who do we get to root for now that the boys are toast? They'll be fine. I don't. I honestly don't even know who their backup quarterback is. <laughs> I literally don't know who it is. I'm sure it's somebody gar absolute garbage, but. You had Dak on your fantasy team? Yeah, that sucks. Chicago Bears. Why would anybody ever want to talk about the Chicago Bears? Three, four, five, six. So we can go here. Here. Make a 3-3 three, three pass. Make a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four blocks their 3-3s. Three, <clears throat> did something Jerry couldn't yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Radiant Flames for two. Maybe an impulse. They've drawn a lot of red cards this game. They've drawn a lot of red cards. I think we're dead. Did not think I could possibly lose this game. Adida Boy, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Chat, don't forget, Twitch Prime, they give you one free sub every single month. I'm going to cut these rest in pieces. They were kind of embarrassing that game. Uh, I'm, I'm sick of cutting Defiler. I'm just going to keep a couple in. 
Uh, let's do one more Shambar in the play. Iron Blood, thank you for the Switch Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Hope you guys are having a good day today. They all did a penguin slide after the game on their shitty field. After their on their shitty, you mean field? Bears fans feast for another six days when Rogers arrives. Yeah, they probably won't be very happy in six days though. <clears throat> mm, okay, turn one elf. Yeah, this hand's cracked, right? Turn one elf. Turn two mentor plus scales. Even if they kill elf, just turn two mentor. We're chilling. We have this for radiant flames. Yeah, this is fine. Kind of awkward that I have to play the Besage you because I'd rather hold it in hand for Ascendancy, but... It's okay. It's okay. This deck just doesn't feel like it goes fast enough or big enough. I mean, my opponent that game cast, like, 17 red cards and killed every single creature I played, so... I don't know, man. <laughs> you know? It's like... Yeah, the deck's gonna look bad when your opponent kills every single one of your creatures. I don't think they have that much removal in their deck, but... All right, I'm going to go Elf Scales here. The Dino Artist Scales. Yes, this is Hardened Scales. The fancy version of Hardened Scales. I like, the, I like this. This one looks cool. Stop! Stop it! This is so rude. Please, please stop. <laughs> I just said, please stop. Whole deck plus three bit, but three bit Nessa's on arena. Three mana Nissa is kind of important. I think it's pretty important. I guess if you didn't have the Nissa's, you could probably just play Rich Cars instead. But nice mana base. They can't play Ascendancy. Mm hmm. I'm just gonna plus. I think. Maybe I'm supposed to hold command and punish them for not remo not main phasing their removal spell. Okay, they just didn't have it. Cool. Take six. I mean, now their red spells are no good against this, right? Could just die, I guess. This was a little bit greedy. This might have been a little too greedy. Probably was supposed to just hold up command and do nothing else, but like, then they could just like play more setup. Maybe I, maybe I am supposed to just go for it. It's kind of close. Like, the longer I wait, the worse it gets for me, because they could just play, like, more cantrips and, set, like, sculpt the perfect hand if I just keep waiting. Because, like, I also don't want to cast the command end of turn into a red spell, right? It's like, probably just have to jam, and this is, like, give them exactly one turn. If they don't have it, then we're good, you know? Boss Reket. What is, what's Boss Re again? <coughs> Impulse is a good sign for us. I forget which one's Boss Reket. It's not loading. Boss Riquette, plus one, put a counter. non token creature attacks, make that many 1-1s, one minus minus six. Mm. I, f I still feel like you'd probably rather play Rishkar. Is Rishkar an arena? Is Rishkar an arena? Or no? Yeah, is Rishkar an arena? Yeah, double white's also kind of sketchy. The mana base is awkward. <clears throat> Rishkar is? Okay, yeah, I'd just play Rishkar. If you're trying to play this on arena and you don't have the three mana Nissas, just play Rishkar instead. Rishkar's good. I like Rishkar. I thought about playing it at this deck, too. Maybe this deck should play Rishkar. Um, could they possibly have anything for this amount of mana? I mean, I don't think they could. I guess it is possible. It's a 10 10 with Trample. Uh, oh, this just makes it lethal, right? I don't have to cast anything else, right? This is just lethal. 13. Guess they could have a bounce spell. Fiery Impulse. We'll go prevent damage. Where'd it go? Prevent damage fight. Where's prevent damage fight? I can't read my card. Prevent damage fight. <clears throat> Alright, you're dead. You're dead! You are dead! Alright, we'll do we'll do show and tell after. I have no lance. Oh mulligan. <clears throat> Uh, I don't like, I don't like this hand, but I'm already on six. I'm already on six. Hmm. Not the matchup I would like this hand. Elf, elf, elf. Okay, good. That is a good start. We, we literally needed that to, to have any shot at this game. Otherwise, we were stone cold dead. We still might be dead, but. Ooh, they don't have the obsession either. So they just have rattle chains? I'm fine with that. 
because they're going to spend a lot of time attacking the Nissa, and then I just have a second one. Um, I guess I could play around Spell Pierce. I'm going to be real with you. I don't even mind if they counter this, though, because I have a second one. I would. I think I'd actually rather have them play Spell Pierce than Rattle Chains this turn. So I'm kind of just okay with them countering this. It uses my mana more efficiently, too, which is pretty important. Yeah, they could also have the... the um, What's the one that costs less? Geislight Snare? Because Geislight Snare costs two if you only have a Spirit. So they could have had Snare. Yeah, they have the Chains. That's fine. Likely going to kill the Nissa, but again, not too concerned with that. Ideally, we draw, like... I think Conclave, Mentor, or Scales are probably our best draws here to pair with the Aspirant. Not even caring about the Nissa Giga Chad. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I could go Swarm Shambler minus second Nissa minus. Maybe that's good. I think I like that. Put a little bit of pressure on them. I guess I could also play the Aspirant here. Maybe it's actually better to play the Aspirant. Because I can go Aspirant minus next turn minus Nissa minus. Yeah, that's probably just better, right? I think that ends up being a little bit better. Sure, that's fine. They didn't fix this uh this bug where you have to you have to type no twice. I hate that. This thing becomes a two-three. Yeah, it's fine. When will they ever fix that bug? They'll fix that bug the same day they fix the Wall of Roots bug. Which, for those of you who have been playing Magic Online for a few months now, the answer to that is never. They will never fix the Wall of Roots bug. Surely patch coming this week, Copium. Kind of feel bad for the Yawgmoth players, huh? What's up, Claudia? <clears throat> All right, let's go minus Nissa. Question is, do I play around Spell Pierce by playing this untapped? I think I can't really afford to do that. This playing around Pierce also just like runs into this. Combat. Did they play the tap thing? I forgot what that card's called. It's Nebel Gas Herald or whatever. So the bug is that when your opponent plays a uh, th when you're when you are given the option to pay, like pay or do X, when you click no, it makes you type no t when it makes you click on no twice, which is like incredibly annoying. Yeah, the wall bug is the wall bug is um, basically the bug with wall of roots is you can't. So in paper, you're allowed to make mana with wall and tap into cast court of calling, but you can't actually do that on Magic Online. Because, like, it's not counted as a mana ability. So it's like, what'll happen is you will, like, you add mana to the wall, say it's an 04. So you put a counter on the wall, but then you can't tap it because it's dead. But that's not how it's supposed to work, basically. It's very, 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 very annoying. They're just pumping this. I'm down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's only in the last counter, obviously. Uh, I don't know. Combat step. I have to block with two creatures this turn. The question is, do I play Defiler? I can't play Defiler, right? Because then I just lose. Yeah, I'm just dead on board if I play the Defiler. <clears throat> so I have to not play Defiler and hope they have nothing. We're dead to another Flash creature. Wait, they're blocking with Rattle Chains? Oh, I'm also a dumbass. I should have just fired up the lair. Right? Yeah, I should have fired up the lair. But it wouldn't have mattered because they had this anyways. Uh, yep, death. I should have fired up the lair, but we would have lost to this anyways, so. <clears throat> if I get a side out defiler... <sighs> I, t I told Chad I would not side out defiler, so I, th I don't think I'm allowed to. Even though I think this is probably not the best matchup for it. <laughs> Five drop against the mono blue, mono one drop counterspell deck. Probably not the best Defiler matchup, but, you know. I did I did say that I wasn't going to side it out, huh? <laughs> it also doesn't have reach, which is incredibly annoying. All right, chat, I'm sorry. You can, uh, you can D colon me all you want. All right, I'll play first. Hmm. I have no white mana, but I do have Vivian. I'm going to keep this, actually. Why is that card even in the deck? Yeah, I've just boarded it out every single round, apparently. 
Skylashers. <clears throat> nah, this matchup's fine. Copium. Arcan is a 2-3 flyer. I mean, it, it doesn't even match up that well against their, like, lords and stuff, though. In Lake, thank you for the five buckaroonies. If you could drop a link in chat, we'll take a look right after this match. Thank you very much. Appreciate the five bucks. Voice would be good here, wouldn't it? Mm, doesn't have flying or reach. I'm actually just going to attack. <laughs> I don't think they block. I also don't really care if they block. For obvious reasons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Archon's also kind of bad against counter spells. The best way to fight against counter spells is try to double spell, but you can't ever double spell with an Archon. So, a uh, Vizzy, thank you for that Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you're having a good day today. Ooh, we'll take a look after this match. All right, Temple Garden acquired. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to play Vivian into all of this mana, right? So, maybe I just go Aspirant? Just, like, Aspirant and chill? Huh? I mean, I'll pay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pay. <laughs> I am, in fact, going to pay. Very interesting. I guess they thought that it was gonna be dead later on, because I have so much mana, but... Tempo play. Yeah, tempo play has been called. <laughs> and they're attacking with that, too. That's kind of aggressive. Time stand, time stand. All right, let's go one, two, three, four. Because I want to hold up Tremulcus Command, I think. I'm going to go pump these two. I mean, I guess... Hmm. Maybe this is bad, because if I'm going to cast... No, I'm just going to... I'm going to hold up Command, but I don't think I'm going to cast it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to hold it up and not cast it. I could have cast the command before attacks because I would have had this untapped to pay for the Wanderer, but I think what I'll do is I'll just, like, have it up to play defensive, probably not use it, and then just use it next turn. Like, I know I missed a point of damage there, but... Too bad Veil of Summer isn't legal. Thank God Veil of Summer isn't legal. <laughs> oh, Claudio, you'll like this emote. If you like, if you like Ratcham... We have Rat Jam Redefined. Mm -hmm. I did see that, Jackson. I did. Hmm. I could cast this now to try and force the sack. Let me just take six. Probably fine. You don't like this? It's kind of a lot, isn't it? It's kind of a lot. <laughs> it's definitely kind of a lot. All right, they're at 11. Swarm Shambler. Uh, we can take a look at the sideboard. Not really much we're getting here. <sighs> Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> How do I debate them? I go one, two, three, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel like I'm one point short if I hold up the command, right? <laughs> Get the filer and cast it just to say it was cast. Don't think I'm going to do that. What I kind of want to do is go... Ah, this is really awkward. Like, I want to cast the command now, but at the same time, I don't. No, I think that's bad. What if I just go... Okay, let's do this. I'm going to try and, like, jibate them into playing, like, a Rattle Chains or something pre-combat. I'm just going to make my my bigger creatures bigger, and then I'm just going to go to combat, see what they do. So, this would be... Oh, right, I get the extra point from here. I was missing this. Right, okay, so this is actually fine. So let's go, I think, counter here? This is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, this was dumb. Just attack for 8, put them to 3, and just pass? So, the reason I don't want to cast the command before attacks is if they have chains, they can respond. Chains make the Wanderer 3-3. Three, three. Counter it, I tap an Elf, and then they tap the chains and the Phantom to tap down a 4-4. Four, four. Phantom dies. I guess that's not that bad. Well, they're not going to flash in Rattle Chains here, right? 
What if I just do this? So this way, if they have chains, like, if they block the Elvish Mystic, right, I can just go counter here, fight the Wanderer, I think. I guess if I attack all, and they block the 1-1, one -one, I can just put a counter, and that's 11. But then, again, same thing. They can just go play Rattle Chains, make this a 3-3, three -three, and then counter the command, right? Uh, well, if they're doing this, I'm just going to pass priority. Oh, do they not know? Are they going to try and slip out the back there, Phantom? Yeah, that doesn't work. <clears throat> so they have another slip out the back. They have to have a second one, right? No, they just didn't know. Okay, can we get some uh, some Pepe laughs in the chat? <clears throat> El no sabe. They are lacking critical information. I don't like voice. Is voice good? Maybe voice is good on the draw. All right, you know what? Since I'm since I'm cutting the defilers, we'll bring in voice because I don't need these shamblers as much. Like it doesn't block, but they have a shit ton of instants, right? They have their deck is just like all instants, so voice is pretty good, yeah. <clears throat> They lack critical information. They are unaware. Mm, the sand slaps, right? Yeah, the sand slaps. I'm probably just gonna windmill voice on two. Yeah, their deck is just like infinite instants and flash creatures and all that stuff. So, yeah, you're right. You're right. I should have brought it in for game two. Oh, hmm. Okay, this looks kind of weird. But I really want to cast Portable Hole here, so they can't hold up the counter spell next turn. I don't know if that's bad, but... Because now they can't cast Geist Light Snare on my voice. That's at least the thought process behind that play. I don't know if that's correct, but... That's why I did it. Because it's just, like, too important to resolve this card. But now, if they have, like, a, you know, a double lore draw, they can just maybe race me... But I can go, like, Mentor Elf next turn, and then Nissa the turn after, which is pretty good. <clears throat> I'm just going to play my spells pre-combat, because if they want to counter it, obviously, then... I mean, I'm probably attacking either way, but... What if I just didn't attack? Yeah, I'm actually kind of interested in just not attacking. I, I, I guess if I attack and they have a chains, I get two tokens. That's probably fine. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Like, if they play Rattle Chains in trade, I get two, four, two five fives. Like, do I care? Two four fours? I think that's fine. I think that's, like, a perfectly fine exchange. I think their plan is to, like, Odawara the voice and then counter it. Nope, I guess not. Main phase Rattle Chains. <laughs> not the best. Not the most exciting, huh? Alright, so I can play Nissa first to play around Spell Pierce, and then play the Mentor, and then Down Tick, and then the game's probably over. <laughs> Ten, yeah. <clears throat> Good luck. Do you want to try to do a Johnny? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't love the Ajani. I think the other Planeswalkers are a little bit better. Uh, specifically Nissa and Vivian. I I don't know. I just feel like a Johnny just seems like a bad Vivian to me. Because a Johnny doesn't give trample, right? Card a Johnny. Really not possible. Um, I'm saying slow. I'll ship it. Eh, okay, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know. Brushland is we, Brushland is not legal until the new set. The, the next set comes out. Spike. They didn't give us all the pain lands. They only gave us half of them. So we don't get brushed in until Brothers War. Also, what's up, buddy? Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> so we just don't even have brush land right now. It's it's awful. I hate it so much. <laughs> With the giant has been killed. Yeah, no underground river, no brush land. Johnny the Great Hearted? Which one's Great Hearted? Thalia, Guardian of Throbbing. I don't think I need to worry about Thalia quite yet. Let's just go Elf plus Aspirant, attack for four. I'm going to go pretty big. This is, I guess, awkward if they have Brutal Cathar, but if they have Brutal Cathar, I can just go next turn, counter on this Aspirant, make it a 2-2, counter, fight, kill. Wait, they're chump blocking? Huh? 
They're chump blocking at 20. I guess they just have more Thalias. They didn't give us all the ones needed in Pioneer the first time around Sag. I mean, honestly, Brushland was the one that was the most important. <laughs> that was the one that mattered the most. I guess Carp losing Forest. Maybe maybe that's tied. But, like, a Dark Arways is kind of whatever. Nobody, nope, it's the Springs who cares. Okay, that makes more sense. Hmm. So... Make this a 3-3 three, three, and then attack with both. And then if they try to trade for the Aspirant, they kind of get completely ranched, right? Because I can just go counter, fight here. And then I think if they don't block, I might just fight the special counter fight the specialist now. I guess I could just save it. Yeah, because I still think I'd rather save it for a Brutal Cathar. Okay, I think I can let that go. I have a second one. Hmm. Two cards left. I think I have to fight the specialist now, right? Counter on the 4 4, fight the specialist. I think I have to do that. Did you see the new promo? Three bit inspectors just playing to play our skews for years to come. I haven't seen what's the new promo three bit inspector. I haven't seen that. It can't be better than the old border though, right? Some underground river. All right, I'll take five. Go to fourteen. Swarm shambler. Not exactly what we're looking for. Make this a five five attack for ten. See, the problem is I can't really hold back because they have the giant killer. So I think I just have to try and race. I don't know that I 100% win this race, but I don't think holding back is really a is really an option here. <laughs> 200 foil with ribbon inspectors. Are they all all border? Okay, what's the new promo? Oh, this thing. I did see this. Yeah, I did see this. These look kind of cool. I still don't like this more than the old border ones, but they are cool. I don't, they're not they're not that bad. Oh, did I forget the deck tech? And like, I'm sorry. I'm very, very bad at forgetting. I'm very, very bad at that. Five, eight. Five, eight, ten, eleven. How do I win? I don't know how I win. They should jump block. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah, we're dead. Didge. Didge, didge. Yeah, I just, like, I, I don't know. I need to, like, when when that, when that I have a deck tech up like that, I have to, like, put a note on my thing to remember, because otherwise I'll just forget. I apologize. Streamer streamer is dumb. All right, what do we want to get mono white? I guess portable hole's good. Uh, nothing else seems that good, I don't think. Like, trim a shambler, trim a defiler... I kind of want to keep some Defilers, because they're actually, like... I don't know. They, they seem like they could be pretty good at breaking board stalls. I'm going to trim a Beast Caller. No, I'll shave a Nissa. Okay, let's try this. Mm -mm. Not be winning any RCQs. That's not the attitude to have. I got two left. Surely I'll win one this weekend, right? Surely this is the weekend. It has to be. Alright, play first. Mm, nope. Okay. We'll work with this. Put back the forest. Turn one elf, turn two this. Need to find a scales. Do I need the link? No, I still have it up. I opened it up in a new page, but I just like... I didn't... Then I like minimized it, but I, I do still have it open. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We'll do it after the match. For real this time. For real this time. I'll go to both of them, Stuck. Uh, I'm going to... What is it? Uh, oh, no. Wait, no. There's one on this Saturday, one on the Saturday after. I thought there was one on Sunday. So this weekend, I'm going to Untapped, and then the weekend after, I'm going to Gaming, etc. I thought there was two, I thought there was one on Saturday, one on Sunday, but I guess not. I think I just go counter on... No, counter on this. Makes the Shambler better. Yeah, yeah. Gaming, etc. the weekend after. <clears throat> Mm, 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 sure. 
There we go. That's what we needed. Uh, okay, let's go Temple Garden untapped. Play second Shambler. Combat. I think counter on the Elf. Attack for five. Hold back the Shambler because we can go Shambler. We can go block plus activate. See, it's all easy when you draw scales. It gets a lot easier when you draw scales. <laughs> We're actually a scales deck, I know. Now, just imagine if we draw the Conclave Mentor. Then we go super deep. I wish this thing had Trample or, like, some sort of evasion, you know? Brutal Cathar. Well, if they exile one of these, we get a token. We actually get a token regardless of what they target. Oh, it's only Spell? Oh. That's a lot worse than I thought it was. I thought it was Spell or Ability. Tilt. <clears throat> They're going to offer the trade for Aspirin, which I guess is probably not a great trade because I can just make this bigger next turn, so we'll take five. Kind of needed a spell there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it might be time to fire up the Hydra. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can make the Hydra a 2-2. Two, two. Hmm, hold on. Shoot. If I make the Hydra a 2-2, I can't block plus activate with Shambler. We need Hanger Backwalker. Hanger Backwalker's even worse against Brutal Cathar, right? Uh, I was thinking about, like, make Lair a 2-2. Counter on Aspirin. Attack for 9. Leave back the Shambler. I think that's fine. And they can trade for the Lair, but I'm kind of okay with that. But I don't want them trading with the Aspirants. I can't attack with everything, right? This would be 4, 7, uh, four, seven 9, 11. Because then on the crackback, they would have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have to leave back one blocker. Maybe it's better to leave back the Lanoir Elves? No, I don't think it is. I think this is fine. This is, this is my play. <clears throat> Very interesting, like, combat math situation here. I'm not sure if this is right. Like, I thought about putting a counter on the... I thought about putting a counter on the lair as well, but... We die to Portable Hole, I think. Okay. I don't think we die to that. Not quite. Okay. Imagine if Shampler was Charging Badger. Yeah, I know, right? Just We just needed to have Trample, that's all. Bandic doesn't bring back Ballista. I wouldn't mind that, but they're not going to do that. <clears throat> okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they have two blockers. Didn't they just leave themselves dead on board? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two blockers. Block here, block here. Take two, four, six. Counter here. Yeah, counter here, 4-4. Four, four. They block the two four fours, take five. And this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Am I missing something? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it flips back. Oh, right, they play two spells. Right, 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 they play two spells. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's what I was missing. Well, yeah, we were never beating that anyways, right? All right, all right, all right, all right, you win. That probably is not a great matchup. So we lost the two bad matchups, which is like, you know, I'm I'm okay with the three two with that league. We played against two bad matchups, lost the two bad matchups. All the other deck, all the other matchups felt pretty good. Uh, not too much to note here. I mean, I will say that we boarded out Defiler Vigor quite a bit, but I think that might just be a product of the matchups we played against. So. Uh, definitely some tweaking to do, but if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!